Hello everybody, the guy Weedrick here, and welcome to the game that literally everybody has played that has ever played a game on the internet, S except for Barry, Skyrim. This is actually the Skyrim Special Edition, so everything looks a tad bit better than the original. She seemed a little grumpy. The reason I'm playing this game is actually because I don't have anybody to play with today. Striver, who I'm usually playing with, is actually uh, heading off to see some family. So, I'm alone for the day and don't really have anybody else to... Language? Who said that? Why am I next? <laughs> You got a guy there, you got a guy there. They're all convicts, but me next? They didn't even bother to move the body. They just, like, kneel down on his legs. she couldn't see Alduin sitting there. God. Okay. Let's follow this guy first. Well, <laughs> just follow the dragon's lead, I guess. Story, exposition, things, they're happening. Stay close to the wall. Yeah, don't worry about that. Oh, to sure. That sounded nerdy. Kinda was. Where is Tolius? Hey, it's Tolius. Hey, Tolius, what's up? Oh, yeah, I was supposed to go this way. I guess. I wouldn't really bother. His coding has set him to immortal right now, so. Advar, I knew it. I'm gonna go with him, because I've played Skyrim before, and I'm not a big fan of... Ulfric. Not really. Kind of an idiot. Okay. 
going to see if I can find something for you as well. So, now that I actually have a bit of time to catch my breath and speak... Oh man, it's got this again. Uh, I've gotten a lot of people saying they want to see me do... See me do a bit more... What do they say? Uh... They wanted to see me do a bit more editing. This is a bit... This is going to make me sound a bit like an idiot to say, but I don't have an editing software. I don't. As a matter of fact, I don't really... I intend to get the one that my brother uses, however, I don't really have one that... I don't really know which one he does actually use, so... Whoa, that flame looks pretty. Ow. I know. Oh, man, this looks actually a lot prettier than I thought it would. So, yeah, I, I would edit the videos. I just don't really have any software to really do that. So, as soon as I do get the software, hopefully this will be the last video that I have unedited, but... Oh, crap. But, um... It may very well be that I will be without editing software for a while. I'm hoping that I won't be, and that I'll actually have some edited videos for you guys shortly in the future, but till then... kind of stuck with what I got now. I didn't know I still had the rucksack on. Something I'd actually like to talk about with Skyrim, if you actually look at, I swear, 90% of the videos that people make about Skyrim, they're always doing some sort of physical weapon. They'll do a sword, a mace, a shield, a two-handed weapon, just something like that. But, or a bow, but hardly do you ever see a mage class. I'm wonder, I gotta wonder, why does nobody like the mages? Why does nobody seem to like the mage? I understand they start off crappy and almost worthless, but after a while they get better. Get wrecked! So look at that! Get wrecked! Yeah, so, granted, they start off really bad. I will admit that. They do not start off well. They start off as bad as could be expected. But... Still, as you progress through the different... Oh, cool. As you progress through the different spells and types of magic, it becomes more powerful and more powerful to the point where I feel like it becomes more powerful than anything any physical weapon could possibly grant. You have no authority over me, Didn't you hear me? I said the keep is under attack. Okay. So, yes, yeah, so that was a. Interestingly enough, the as you just saw, the ability to actually wield magic if you're not a magic user inherently, like a Breton is. I actually did pick a Breton because they absorb magicka. They don't just tolerate heat or electric, not electricity, heat or cold or something like that. They can completely, not only withstand being hit with magic of any kind, but as well be able to take that magic and turn it into their own power. 
whether eventually if you actually what the heck oh my god where did they come from that screwed up Who died? Ah, oh, heck. I never understood. They have it locked away, almost like it's the kind of thing you... you really want, because they have it locked away like it's something desirable, and yet, when you first get it, it's not that powerful, and it runs out really quickly. And I understand that. Oh. And I understand that. I understand it's not the best uh, combat style to use in the game right off the bat, but as you progress through it, it becomes um, impressively powerful to the point where it can rival just about any other weapon I've seen in the game. When I use Conjuration, or not Conjuration, well, Conjuration as well, the swords and bows and such eventually become powerful enough to the point where I'm actually able to destroy groups of enemies with a single or even one or two fireballs. But... And yet, nobody seems to want to go for it. They consider magic to be the weakest form and, like, hard mode on this game, but it's just hard right off the bat. Besides, it adds a bit more challenge. What's wrong with that? Crap, giant spiders. Ew. Oh, that's disgusting. Jump at me, that's... Oh, that's... Haha, <laughs> giant snakes. Nope, just a bear. That's how their poison works. I'd actually always wondered how... Uh, spider's poison in this game worked, because it didn't really seem to do much to your health. I guess it's not so much a health thing as it is a... Stamina drain. Crap. Can't touch these. Taking that. I know I'm missing story, but I've already seen this story five times, probably. So it's not all that interesting to me anymore. It's kind of bland. Which is actually why I liked uh, Alternate Start Live Another Life, but this is a special edition, so... I know there's a way to download mods, because I know there's a mod community, I just don't... I haven't taken the time yet to actually check it out. Which is unfortunate. Oh, listen to the birds chirp. This is really pretty. Looks like he's gone for good this time. They did do quite a bit to this, but see if he comes back. I'm sure he'd help you out. I'm sure he would. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Okay. So I understand that. They actually did do quite a bit with this. The textures are a bit better, but they're not as good as the graphics that I have or the textures that I have with... Shut up! The textures that I have with uh, my regular one with all the mods that I have installed. And granted, not everybody can support the amount of mods that my computer probably can that owns this game because... Right off the bat, with just the base game, it's not that... It's graphically demanding, but it's as graphically demanding as any other game of its time. It's not even gra as graphically demanding as Red Dead Redemption. And that would, came out not that long after this game. This one is a bit better, but still, if you really look at it, it looks like it was made in MS Paint. 
is unfortunate, but not the worst thing that could happen. Click. Yes, I like the mage. I like the Breton as a mage, to be more precise, and that's solely because they can, without even needing mods to cheat the game, you can make yourself 100% resistant to magic, to the point where you will either block it completely or just absorb it. And God, I love that. It is so nice. That is such a nice feature that they added that in the game because being able to not have to worry about a magical... Would you... I'm doing a video here. Hush. Okay. As... As a... Where was I? My mind kind of goes off at times and good wolves. So, I apologize for if I get sort of lost off track, but... Oh. So, as I was saying... Oh, God. Without... It's really nice to be able to not have to really worry about being attacked by a mage or something that uses magic, because you may not think of it by looking at this game, but quite a few things in this game actually use magic to attack you with. More than you'd think. Diseases actually count as a magical affliction, interestingly enough. If a bear or a wolf attacks you and it's supposed to give you a disease, you'll absorb it as a magical attack, which, granted, is kind of game-breaking, but in a fun way. Ooh, I think my... I think OBS is having a little heart attack there on my game. But yeah, they did do quite a bit of good with these things, but again, MS Paint. Not to say that's a bad thing, I've seen a lot of good things made in MS Paint, but when it comes to something like this and you're trying for a special edition, MS Paint isn't what you're really looking for. At least, not what I'm looking for. It's gonna go ahead and make some hide stuff. I don't really understand, yeah, but I think a mage is really cool. It's got a lot of variations, and yes, there are a lot of variations in weaponry, but there's... I feel like there's far more variations to magic than there are to actual weapons. I mean, for weapons, you got the sword, the bow, the great sword, and then the... Well, you got the sword, hammer, and... Is there just a regular... Oh, there's a sword, axe, and mace, and then you have the double, the two-handed versions of those. The great sword, the war hammer, and the battle axe. Then you got the bow and different types of arrows. And then you got your fists. With magic, you have fire, electricity, and if you just want to go based off the schools of magic, you have destruction, alteration, conjuration, illusion, uh, alchemy, enchanting, restoration. Did I? I don't remember if I had, did conjuration yet. If I did, ignore the second conjuration. What are you doing here? Looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear. I don't know, Lefisto. You know I was assigned to. Ooh, they did make the fire look really pretty, though. I mean, it's a looping texture, but still, that looks really pretty. That one, not so much. I like the candles. The candles look really pretty. I doubt I've made it out myself, if not for my friend here. I need to get back to solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. If we need supplies, a place to stay. Of course. 
<clears throat> oh, sorry, I was admiring your beard. And right before he tells me that, he's going to offer me everything he possesses that he doesn't intend to sell or keep. Sure, I can do that, I guess. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to go on a whirlwind of quests. <laughs> so, first thing I'm actually going to do is the first thing I typically do in this game. I'm going to go, and before I talk to anybody else, I'm going to go and take care of the Golden Claw quest, because why the heck not? Have I leveled up yet? Oh, barely. Even. Close. God, what's with the stuttering? Well, he does it sometimes, but still. Jeez. I don't really know how long I'm going to make this video, but I'm going to probably do that quest in... Oh my god, wolves. I keep forgetting how many wolves there are in Skyrim. It's ridiculous. Okay. Did anybody else think that was kind of long for a kill scene? Because that wolf was still coming at me. And it took a little too long for it to die. That was a bit ridiculous. Oh, well. Thinking actually on the subject of the original Skyrim with all my mods, at least this one won't have as many glitches and problems because of having no mods. Uh, in my original game, there was actually a time where I decapitated a woman, she got back up and killed me without a head. I don't really understand how that worked, but she found a way. God. Sit. Some of these people are just a bit ridiculous. They're on the verge of burning to death, and instead of going outside in the cold and snow and, you know, fixing themselves, they continue to try and stab me in the... Oh, good. I feel like they could have done a lot more with the actual physics of this game, though, because... Considering this, what happens when you bring iron really close to fire? It typically, typically, typically gets pretty warm, right? Typically kind of hot to the point where you can't touch it anymore. Flames seems to work just like fire, and yet... It doesn't have any additional damage due to being exposed to, you know, a metal plate or, you know, having your rucksack... Rucksack? whatever they call it in this game, uh, being set ablaze. I know it does the additional burning damage because you're lit on fire, but metal doesn't typically get lit on fire unless it's in a molten state already. Orc. Ragdolls. Just ragdolls. I'm not criticizing the game, I do like this game an awful lot, it's just they could have done so much more with the coding in the special edition. They called this a special edition and didn't make it any more special than spruce than adding a couple of mods to the base game. That was kind of it. They could have made it so much better, and yet, all they did was just spruced it up a little bit with some mods you could easily get in the original game 
and called it special. <laughs> Ooh, you got me with an arrow. Congratulations. <laughs> oh. Little tip for if you play this game and haven't figured out how to dodge arrows yet, if you just do a little sideways shimmy, they cannot hit you worth a lick of salt. They cannot hit you at all. It's kind of hysterical, actually. It's me. Missed. They typically can't hit you. Okay, I'm a little close for the shimmy. Doesn't really matter, though. Doesn't really matter, though, because arrows at this level don't typically do a whole lot. So it's not it's not a huge concern of mine if it uh, hits me. Something else I noticed that they did in this game did not mean to do that is that when you sprint in this version, you just have to tap the sprint button and it'll just go. In the base version, I don't know if that's a setting I changed in the base version, or if it's something that they changed in the special edition, but I much prefer just holding the button down, that way it was a bit more accurate as of when I wanted to stop. Ouch. Ow, stop, that hurts. Okay. Do I have any actual... Oh, yeah, I have that sword. Hey, buddy, check this out. I have a sword, too. I much prefer fire, though. Let me actually... I know how it works. I've played this game before. I much prefer my fire, though. Ooh, you have a steel sword. I don't really care. Snake, snake, whale. You can sort of memorize these after you've played it a few times, because it never changes. That's not a bad thing, necessarily. It's just... Well, not really something you can fix, actually. I mean, they could have added a random thing to it, but I'm betting this game took quite a while to actually make, so... I wouldn't really expect them to have the time to actually put into... Oh. Did that thing run away from me? Oh, yeah, it did. Okay. I didn't. don't really expect them to have had the time to actually fix that, though... What? I don't understand why they didn't make the game more realistic than they did. In the special edition, is the only thing. Because... They were going off of... They have the base game's codes. They have everything they need for to make the game already. They already have the game out. All they have to do is spruce up the appearance of certain things, and bada bing, you got a special edition. I don't have the magic for that. Oh! I forgot I leveled up. Now I have the magic for this. Sort of. Not really. As well, they kind of made the magic a bit... Mm, unbalanced. Fire damage does far too much compared to lightning and frost, and it doesn't give you much choice in the matter. 
Uh, it, well, it gives you a lot of choice in the matter of which one you pick. It just doesn't give you a whole lot of reason to pick the other two options. You got the one that does the most amount of damage, the one that is good against magic users, but if you're a Breton, doesn't matter. And then you have the one that, if you are, you know, if you're going up against Dark Elves, what are you? Oh, Dark Elf. If you're going up against Dark Elves, works phenomenally, but at the same time, not as well as Fire does still. They may have a 50, 50 or 25? I think it was a 25% resistance to Fire, but still, enough to... This guy's just going to run off anyway, so might as well just attack him. Because you don't have a choice. So... <sighs> Gotta read his book because it's mandatory. Then just drop it. So... You got fire, frost, and electricity. Lightning as it's also known. Fire's the one that does all the damage. You got ice that does damage, but not as much, and will do half as much damage to your... die. Can you just stay dead? That'd be lovely. I said stay dead. Okay. You pick this. So, fire does the most damage. I've said that multiple times now. Ice does damage to your stamina and to your health. The problem is it doesn't do enough to your health to make it worth wielding. And... Lightning does damage to your magic and to your health, but again, it doesn't do enough damage to your health and to your magic to actually be worth wielding on every single person, so you end up just picking fire out of the... it being the most logical thing to pick. I wish they had been a bit more balanced, but they made fire the one that's the most reasonable to choose, so... Oh, come here! Come oh, dear. Oh, I miss. Gotcha! There's always such a good thing. <laughs> such a nice thing about this is if you can't beat a guy, just use a trap. It'll work. Eventually. Oh, yeah. Draugr. Some of them look... A, I do like that they made some of the Draugr look a bit more like the legitimately dead ones. Down. I'm just gonna have to use a sword, aren't I? Ouch. That's actually not good. Okay, give me that sword because this one sucks. And back to the flames. Okay, as I've said, I know that magic starts off crappy, but it does get better. I have seen it. I have experienced it. Trap. I have experienced it. This trap is annoying. Not dangerous, just a nuisance. Those flames, I cannot get over how pretty they look. Did it? Nope. Oh, you made it to the other side? They don't typically are able to do that. Hold up, buddy. 
Papa's coming with his sword. Come here. I keep forgetting. I'm so used to just going into the menu to switch it because I hardly ever use that little quick bar. But I probably should. Okay. This video has been going on for quite a bit of time, it feels like. Hope I have enough video to actually... I hope I don't have too much video so that it's too long. We have to split this into two parts. Okay, well, I guess this is as good a place to stop as any, so... That'll be all for this time. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and in the next video I'll actually finish this quest. Bye guys!